What's the deal, little 100 in this bitch, man? Big app, and I'm three times iller, man. Y'all locked in, man. What's the dealer? Keep it real up. I'm three times iller. Three, three times iller. Three times, three times, three times iller. I got to touch on this now, because you just said you did an eight-year bid. Oh, yeah, you ain't even CC when you was just adding all these years up and shit. We ain't even talk about, I miss some years. I miss some 2008 to 2015. So that's where, where, where like, in that, in that span before that, I had did a little song and shit. And that's when shit was finna really take off for me. That's when shit was finna change for me. But I went to jail because I was under the pressure with all the shit with BL. That's what I was telling you. Mm -hmm. I went right back to jail four or five months later. Cause you know, nigga was doing all type of shootings and all type of crazy shit. And the nigga nigga was just hot. And them bitches threw a case on me. Them bitches railroaded me, railroaded me, got me off the streets for some shit I ain't even do. And they know I ain't do it. And I took the case for one of the homies and I ain't rat. And the homies know that. And I laid down and did that eight years. And they know that. And yeah, and so, I came back. Oh, since we talking about that then, now it seemed like today uh, they trying to make it cool or acceptable to kind of uh, start telling. And I just seen uh, a guy uh, that people feel like real, real street dude in that industry uh, chilling with a uh, chilling with an artist that everybody know that's uh, telling. Uh, oh, man. Do you think it's an agenda man. out there to try to make it almost these new, to make these new uh, dudes think like, tell forget it, it, just go ahead and tell. Yeah, like, they making it, they making it, that's just, that that, go, that goes along. I feel like, you know how they be having their little secret society type shit going on? That's just like with the industry plan type shit. Mm -hmm. When they try to make, even, it ain't even just in the industry, even go on with the fucking kid cartoons and shit. They be having the kid cartoons with gay characters and shit and all that type of shit. So it's like they pushing this on to the world. So they doing all this rat and that shit and letting these people see that niggas can rat and niggas just gonna say that you a rat. They gonna scream on this niggas a snitch on Instagram. But when they see you, they gonna keep driving by you. They ain't gonna do nothing to you. So niggas just finna be ratting. Like the code ain't how it used to be back in the day. They split your shit. Like niggas ain't nobody shit getting split. And then niggas is it's like it's supposed to be living and standing for something and like it's having sit downs and shit with the rat. Like I don't even understand that, but I don't even I don't even be want to even get into that because it's politics and that shit. And I feel like you motherfuckers blackballed a nigga anyway, anyway. So so that's on some whole other shit. And y'all so, know what I'm talking about. Now you been stand up, man, and, and stood on yours and and, and took your uh, time. Man, and man, you still a young cat, man. So, man, how do you feel? Tell me, how, how does that just sit in your heart, even if you ain't got to express like heavy, how you feel about it? How did that make you feel about the time that you did, knowing that now it's being looked at as uh, like just a little slap on the wrist? Ain't nobody really tripping off of Oh, you talking about the snitching part? That's telling. You talking about the snitching part shit? My daddy a motherfucker killed me. Simple as that. I wouldn't be allowed to go home. My shit. I was worried about my daddy. I ain't worried about no streets and none of that shit. Nigga, I used to get whoopings and shit in the house. And niggas used to be telling, oh, he just did this, he did that. Niggas get whoopings and shit. My daddy grilled that for me in my head when I was a motherfucking baby, bro. So my my loyalty aligns with my daddy when it comes to telling, like, because he been through some shit. My daddy was in jail fighting a murder and shit when I was 11 years old. He beat that joint. My daddy done been through shit. He ain't never told me nothing and and for him to go through everything that he went through in these motherfucking streets and the name that he got i can't fuck that man name up mm -hmm. i got the same name as that man leonardo williams jr mm -hmm. so what i'm gonna do what i'm gonna fuck around to tarnish that man name for i got to honor that man name just as well as him so i can do no ratting anybody nigga could say anything about me they say anything about me but they can they for sure gonna tell you that nigga ain't gonna rat and they ain't gonna rap for sure. They gonna they gonna tell you they gonna rap. And if he got to, he gonna he gonna do something. If he got to, that's for sure they gonna tell you. <laughs> I don't know nothing about else, but they know I ain't gonna rap. I ain't gonna rap nothing. I've been interrogated for several murders and shit. Mm. Everybody know that shit. My my name been documented in all type of paperwork, but never been a statement by it. Mm. I always been a suspect and shit. Yeah, interrogated for shit. Niggas didn't went to jail for shit. And my name that came up and shit, and that's how niggas got released and shit. You feel me? But we ain't gonna speak on that.
Okay, do you ever feel like now with this uh, industry, and, I, and I'm going to try to make this short and get up off of that, but with the industry accepting a lot of this, do you think that's going to that's gonna make it harder for real cats to kind of really get in there and survive? Because, uh, I mean, it seems like it's real prevalent in the industry right now. So do you think that it make it harder for somebody that's real and been through it and, and stood on his? Do you think they, they going to kind of like keep you and cats that are solid, like at a distance? So uh that can continue or what you feel yeah they've been doing that they've been already doing that for a minute keeping certain niggas at a distance shit i feel like i got blackboard motherfuckers don't know I, I i i sit at the motherfucking rock nation office with omar grant the head of rock nation bro mm -hmm. me i sit at the table with these people and had a whole meeting with these people bro mm -hmm. whole deal on the table 350k deal on the table for a motherfucking single deal in the, in, the, in the ep to see how that was gonna go everything was everything was agreed upon had your lawyer call my lawyer all this type of shit but them people went to calling the gatekeepers they got gatekeepers on this west coast and with the calling the gatekeepers how is it that the head of motherfucking rock nation love my music and love everything that i make and just tell me we've gone he, he's love everything and we finna do this and do that but then make a few calls because they know they're gonna check nigga background or whatever type of shit. They make a few calls and then all of a sudden they don't want to sign a nigga. These niggas blackballed me. These niggas blackballed me. That's how I feel. But at the same time, they've been doing that. But I feel like that snitch shit, they doing that shit for the streets. They ain't even really doing that for the music. They doing that for the streets. They doing that for the youth. They doing that for the kids, the people that's coming up to show them, like, tell on these niggas. Mm. Ain't even for the music, ain't even for the industry. Ain't for the industry. It's, they doing that shit for the youth. Six nine, I feel like that was like, you know, for the youth. That was for the youth to, to fuck up, to fuck up gang culture. Mm. Like, fuck up the code of ethics in the streets to show them that you can snitch and ain't nothing gonna happen. That's what I really totally feel like, bro. Mm. So, and now, as you can see, after the snitch, the six snitch nine and told motherfucker, all type of niggas been telling shit. And that's just the honest to God truth.